I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hi to everyone watching this. I'm just here to share a dream that I got. Actually, two dreams that I got. But first, I'll start with my story. So, uh, all my life, I've, I don't know, I've always kind of doubted uh, if there's a God. You know? With seeing the world, how things are going, you can hardly believe that there's a God. But uh, earlier this year, 2018, around uh, March, in my, I was reading the Daily Bread, you know, the book that contains, you know, word for every day. And then uh, in my heart, I just asked God, eh? if you exist, just reveal yourself to me. Uh, then around June this year, I had two dreams. One one dream started like this. Uh, I was just asleep, and then I, w I woke up in a in a really in a really dry place, like a desert. It was just very barren. Nothing was on it. And then something I, I could feel that I I had died. I was I was not on the earth. And then I remember seeing my siblings in my in my dream crying over my death. And especially my second born sister was the one who was crying the most. And in that dream I was it it felt like it was more of a, it was a mental torture because I, I, I was I was living with them but I, I was spending like a whole eternity it was like I felt like it was a really long time I was spending time trying to tell them I'm there but they cannot see me and all they're doing is weeping and weeping and weeping because of my death and it was really painful it was like you know I cannot describe it in words and when I woke up, I was in sweat. Like I've never, <laughs> I've never sweated that much while waking up. Okay, and then another second dream. Although that that dream might not have been clear in detail in what I'm saying, this second dream was so clear. It started like this war in, in like a very high building. It was like a rectangular building, and we were in the topmost floor. It was like ten floors, and believe it or not, we were five people. It was me, my elder brother, one and only brother, and uh, the superheroes, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. There was something we were guarding, like a cube, on top of that roof. And then that roof ha had like something like an atrium, where light comes from the, the sky and then, you know, penetrates to the building. Uh, and then, this thing that we were guarding was uh, something precious. I, I didn't know what it is. So Superman and uh, the superheroes were there floating. You know, we were all guarding it. So, you know, my brother, you know, he, he likes to tell stories. And he was trying to tell us about uh, one time how someone uh, fell on that same building to his demise. He was, so he was, he was narrating that story to us. As we were guarding it, so as he's narrating it, I'm seeing he's dramatizing how it happened. But at this, uh, as he's dramatizing, we are we are seeing him actually do the thing that uh, that person apparently did, and he's he's getting closer to the edge. So when he, he's about to fall off, I I try and tell him, "You are about to fall off. Watch out!" And just even before I finish saying "watch out," he fell. And he felt so bad. It was. It felt like a lot, really long time him falling, and then he just landed on the concrete floor down there, ten floors down. And it was one of the most. I was in this place, so I ran downstairs, and the, what I saw there was tragic. It was tragic. I saw his 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 body was like a pest. It was just like a red pest, like like pudding, but mixture of you know all the contents of a human body and it was like it was so real even though the superheroes in it i felt there's no other dream that has ever been this real in my life and i was there i was crying i was yeah, i was crying i was saying my brother is gone my brother is gone 
and then um, after a while after a while uh, I, the, the superheroes ca- came down to you know and they, they were trying to say oh, I'm so sorry for your loss what 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 and so it was like even as they saying sorry it, I felt even more pain so this dream really bothered me for like a week I couldn't understand what it is and then after the, that week God revealed to me that remember you who are you with then I remembered I was actually with superheroes there and they did absolutely nothing contrary to what we see on TV <laughs> I know I came to understand you know I, I didn't understand what, what were the superheroes doing there what was I doing with them in the dream so I think uh, the message that uh, God is trying to warn us is there's going to be an impending danger but the way they normally say in movies you see thousands of movies talk about the apocalypse uh, world destruction all that but in those movies they normally put a superhero that comes and saves saves the day now in this world from that dream shows that this world there is no superhero here of course only jesus christ but on the earth here there's nobody who can save like uh, superman and all those heroes you see in movies those are just lies so you can imagine me losing my brother and being surrounded by superheroes that we see in films it was really devastating and i came to realize that you know god has his own way of revealing information and um another thing that uh, really i really had uh, doubts about the bible is why did god choose uh, israel as his people and then again he revealed to me he's, he said if if i chose uh, asian people or whichever whichever uh, race or you know denomination of people you would have said the same thing you would have said why did you choose them so it doesn't matter the choice that he made to re- give his message question is are you willing to receive the message because whether you you run to different directions in the book of daniel it says men will run here and there looking for knowledge but the truth will still stand you know earth and men will pass away but god's word will still remain and you know i just hope anyone listening to this will really pay attention that you know in fact we the last days you know this made me even go and research about you know if other people are having dreams you know and i came across so many people having dreams and it's not a coincidence it was written that people have dreams in the last days and we are living in the last days almost 90 i can say 98 percent of the prophecy has been fulfilled in, in the bible so the two percent are just waiting to happen and then the world is over so make sure you read the word everything on it everything i'm, I'm still continuing you know daily i'm trying to read you know and i really pray hard that god will not leave me come that day anyway man god bless you all this salvation is a serious job you need to work on it don't depend on preachers to save you don't depend on anyone to save you it is you and the bible and your obedience anyway god bless you all man